Today's video is going to teach you how to beat two man under in Madden NFL 16. What's up guys, my name is Cody and yesterday we did a video on the Miami Dolphins offensive playbook. We discussed a really good base formation from there in the uh, shotgun empty bunch and today we're going to be doing uh, a nice play here uh, and showing you how to beat some man to man. So we like to use the tight offset tight end uh, to beat man to man coverage here uh, and the play that we're going to like we're going to focus in on uh, is the play well oops I didn't have it here have it loaded up here um, but the play we're gonna focus in on from the tight offset tight end because we're trying to make this scheme for mutt primarily uh, if I can find the tight offset here we go but uh, the play we're gonna focus on uh, for this uh, video uh, because we're trying to use all quick audibles is we have this play uh, corners uh, and, and, and it's pretty solid guys, it's pretty solid for beating man, so we're going to utilize it. Another play we could use is PA Seams. If you're not playing Mutt, I would recommend using Miami Out, it's very similar to Zona Post from Arizona's playbook. But anyway, corners, um, so it's your quick audible down, it's your, or your quick audible to the deep pass, and this is what we're going to utilize. So what we want to do here is we're going to try to make a natural pick and rub, and so we're going to take Koch, we're going to motion him to the right side of the screen, and then we're going to take Teddy Ginn, and we're going to put him on a drag. Now, what you're going to see here is against two-man press, he's going to get wide open with the crossing pattern and uh, and be able to really do some damage for us, as you can see. So he's the first read on the play. Um, you know, the second read on the play is going to be your running back. And this normally is actually a really good man-to-man -man beater. If you see man, pass lead that to the right when he breaks to the outside. Normally, this is going to be really good, and Whitaker's a pretty underrated back I think he breaks a lot of tackles for me so definitely definitely don't sleep on that and then the final read of the quarter round so we're gonna focus in primarily on Greg Olson's route as you're gonna see just a high high and outside pass lead and it's gonna do a really nice job don't sleep on the high pass lead this year when they're playing zone coverage stuff so they're playing like cover two coverage uh, what you're gonna see is this year um, the interesting thing is that Olsen, when you come out here, pass lead that to the outside right upfield. You want to pass lead it high so that that underneath corner can't really can't really play it. Um, and I, I don't think we were in cover two, but um, but that's what that's the kind of the goal um, is you want to pass lead it high. Uh, and then from what I'm seeing, high pass lead high to the outside. It's going to give him that animation where only he can go get that ball. And uh, that's what we're looking for. Cool part about this is the run audible down is the inside zone. And we love the inside zone this season. As you can see, it just does a really, really nice job. Um, it's something that you can mix in out of this man beater as well. So, But we're going to focus in primarily on the drag uh, and then the corner and, and the running backs route. Those are the, two, those are the three main routes we like to use. Um, this route to uh, Kotri that we're motioning over, we can low pass lead that and you're going to see it's going to sit as you can see it sits against that coverage and really doesn't too too shabby for us we're really kind of mainly using it as a pick route for Ted Ginn um, that's the main goal because when you face man bump you have to have a surefire way to get him off that jam get him off the press and kind of clear him out and that's what we're accomplishing with using that pick route uh, we'll show you this one other one other thing here the other thing that you can do is uh, you can high pass lead this um, well I guess it didn't really look too good but normally you can low pass lead it to the outside and uh, it actually works pretty effectively it's something like a check down kind of thing is what we're looking for here but if we look left we look right we look up and nothing's there then we can check down with a low pass lead uh, to Jericho Cotri. Jericho Cotri is also going to provide us a nice safety valve in case they go to zone coverage. So the corner route's not always going to be open, especially against like cover three and cover four. But what is going to be open is this underneath little route to Cotri. As you can see, it's like a spacing kind of route, and we're able to use it. Um, and then also, guys, what I like to do uh, with Brown here is I actually like to put him on a streak. And this is just in, in the event that they take the safety away. So if they take the safety away, you know, maybe trying to use or him or whatever, then we can just lob it l1 high pass lead let him go up and get it and but we would want to have somebody a little bit better suited for that position there but as you can see it is pretty solid and effective and the beauty of this is that it allows us to get to it in our quick audibles so that's what we've got for you guys for beating man to man uh, like i said uh, one of the thing you could use is this play pa seams you get play action blocking you also get this nice speed out route the cool part about this play 
that I like to do is I like to take Whitaker, put him on a streak, take Ginn, put him on a drag, and then motion Kotri out three steps to the outside. What you're going to see is when Kotri breaks to the outside, you're going to be able to throw that with an outside pass lead, and it'll be pretty effective for you. The next thing that you are going to see with this play is um, is that uh, Teddy Ball game again. What he's going to be able to accomplish is he's going to be able to win against man because it's kind of mushy over there, and so we can get him the ball with a nice pick and rub there. And then if they take the safety away to kind of come down to get that out route, what you're going to see here is that uh, Brown is going to have a one-on-one -on -one in this little angled, angled corner route. It does a really nice job of getting off, you know, beating from the from the, from the get go. Kind of if they don't have a safety over top, that's where we're looking to go, and 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 that's really what we're looking to do here. So, just a lot of things you can do with this formation. Um, but I wanted, to, you know, obviously I want to focus in on these underneath crossing patterns because that's going to be your most consistent. And then if they take safeties away, you have those seam passes as well. So. Anyways, guys, that's what we've got for you guys today. Like I said, be sure to be on the lookout for our uh, ebooks dropping next Monday. Uh, we're going to drop those for you guys. I think it'll be November 2nd. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it, and uh, we'll make sure we have sample plays for you for the guys. If you have any questions about what we talked about today, be sure to leave a comment. Otherwise, guys, we'll see you tomorrow with another.